one hipster in the crowd. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi James. So thank you for uh, thank you for coming out, Matt. Thank you for inviting me to read this tonight. So this is my newest essay. It's called Technological Organism, and it kind of deals with a lot of concepts that we've been talking about tonight from a different direction. Um, we've been talking a lot about unity and coming together, and how do we come together, and how do we recognize sort of that that similarity between us instead of recognizing the separateness and judging the differences, seeing the similarities. And um, in this, I am going to present what I feel the internet is doing um, in that process of us learning how to see the similarities. So uh, a little while ago, probably about five months ago, I left my job to write a book, and it is now with an editor, which is really exciting. And some of the other projects that I do are writing these essays because I feel as if a way to come together is to have large concepts expressed in a way that we can relate to um, so that I can help and other people can help me provide a language that we can share and tell stories about these concepts that before are abstract. So we ask, what does that even mean? Going into a process of, well, my story is it means something like this. And it's not really true for anyone but myself, um, really, unless it relates to you, and then hopefully it's true to you, because it's honest, and in that I think there's a direct humanness that we can all relate to. So, here we go. So, technological organism, a living system. The internet is a living system of human connections and ideas augmented through technology. Like trees communicating through the mycelium network in the forest floor, our symbiotic relationship with the internet is helping to expand our abilities to share essential information, transcend the boundaries that once divided us, and enable us to thrive as a mutual collective. The new paradigm of human interaction that is evolving out of our relationship with the internet will help us to heal our world and ourselves from the ignorance that has plagued our history. The internet is more vast than most of us can fathom and it is still growing, expanding beyond the digital and through the neurological into our daily lives and almost every facet of contemporary human culture. As we build more technological hubs, and ingrain interaction with the net more deeply into our personal lives, we are building a brain to house the culminating expression of mankind. This is a brain whose ideas, whose best ideas will rise to the top as a result of us openly sharing the information that inspires us most. This exposure to the cream of human thought through digital sharing platforms is building coherence between once divided cultures. It is building a common ground to connect in ways that are no longer divided by geographical coincidence. Our sharing through the internet is amplifying our psychosocial and spiritual evolution as a species towards self-realization, an evolutionary jump in life that will mark dawn on the day after a new age of life begins. But all this might be lost if we let the internet be chopped down by the powers of being. The evolution of the internet has been an organic evolution. Its growth is not founded merely on the expanse of technology, just like the development of an idea in our mind is not founded merely on the growth of our synaptic pathways. Just as synaptic pathways grow as a result of an interest and effort in expanding our knowledge and understanding, the technology of the internet has grown as a result of our drive to participate in it, to participate in interacting with each other. The evolution of the internet is organic because it is the capability of human connection that has been growing. Its growth is the growth of human communication. The technology we have created is only the means for that communication and the connection we each desire and require. The forests that still thrive, the forests that have yet to be compromised by human ignorance, are a dynamic living system that communicates information effectively. The primary means 
of its communication is the mycelium network in the forest floor. The information being shared is the needs and yields of the forest exchanged in the language of nutrients. Mycelium is the root structure of the fungi kingdom. The mushrooms that we see sprouting on the surface of the soil are the fruiting body of the mycelium. The role of the mycelium in the forest is to communicate nutrients between flora and fauna from where those nutrients are abundant to where they are lacking, communicating nutrients as needed to ensure the mutual thriving of the entire forest as a whole. For example, if one tree in the forest is lacking nutrients of a certain type and another tree has surplus, those nutrients are communicated via the mycelium across the forest floor to the tree that is in need. Through creating a symbiotic relationship with the mycelium, the trees thrive as a mutual collective beyond what they would be capable of on their own. The mycelium is the network by which the trees and the whole forest thrive. The internet is a digital recreation of an organic system the planet uses to communicate the information necessary for its mutual thriving. It is a technological mycelium network. Like the trees in the forest that thrive when they work together in symbiosis with the mycelium, so can we thrive as a species and a civilization when we learn to work symbiotically with the internet in the same regard, working towards a common goal a goal of thriving as a collective in harmony with each other and the planet. Quote Paul Stamets, I believe the invention of the internet is the inevitable consequence of a previously proven biologically successful model, end quote. As a person in a small community of people sharing like ideas, I am able to achieve more than I would be capable of on my own, though I am still limited to the ideas present in the cultural zeitgeist of my local geography. Through creating a symbiotic relationship with the internet, I am able to collect, connect to a global network and find a community of people with like ideas that transcends my geography. For example, let's say I like to write about a controversial topic like psychedelic drugs, but there aren't many people in my local community that share in that interest. <laughs> In this case, my ability to thrive intellectually and artistically as a respected member of a community with like ideas of limited. Yet when I utilize the internet as the means for me to connect with the psychedelic community at large, I transcend the lack of interest in my immediate geography and can thrive artistically and intellectually in relation to a larger community who share in my interests. When I understand how and why to utilize the internet and develop a symbiotic relationship with it, I am able to achieve far beyond what I would be capable of on my own because now I am connected to a community who shares like ideas through an efficient method of communication that potentially spans across the entire globe. My participation in this larger digital community benefits more than just me, as for it to benefit me, it requires my participation. This participation helps to put back into the network for others in the community to benefit from as well, creating a base for mutual thriving. Imagine what happens when the like ideas that are being connected on are those that are essential for the thriving of the entire planet, and the community sharing those ideas includes the majority of the human race. As we share information with each other, like permaculture, aquaponics, spiritual philosophy, indigenous wisdom, scientific discovery, inspirational artwork, music, alternative history, the advance of technology, psychology, astrology, philosophy, a gifting economy, and so on, we are being exposed to the reality of our ability to live in a society founded on mutual thriving. This exposes us to a truth that lay beyond the illusion of separation and co competition we have been bred to believe in. These like ideas that represent a new social paradigm are coming to the surface of our digital sharing with the aware along with the awareness of the dangers we are in. As the internet works to bring information for our mutual thriving, it also communicates information to alarm us that we are in danger. Through sharing vital information on the dangers that are threatening life on this planet, for example, climate change, solar activity, corporate greed running our governments, the lies of mass media, the reality of war for economic control, secret police, the financial elite, the crumbling of our monetary and market systems, the unnecessary indoctrinated values that are pulling us apart, tragedy in other lands, and the corruption in our own. We are being pushed to evolve socially and psychologically in order to survive. 
The progress of our civilization has created a multitude of things that are threatening our very existence, and because of this threat, we are becoming aware of these things, sharing our knowledge like tweeting the doomsday bell to warn that it is time for a new way of living. A way of living that is available to us in the same way the warnings were, through sharing openly with each other beyond the geographic and cultural boundaries we've inherited by way of our very own mycelium network, the technological organism we have called the internet. We are preparing to save ourselves from a civilizational collapse and dramatically advance our own psychosocial evolution. Yet there is a catch. It requires critical thinking and action. This technology, this technologically assisted transcendence of geographic and cultural boundaries is laying a neurological architecture that has not been seen by human civilization as far as our history has told us. Where our history has taught us to see each other for our differences, our participation in the global internet community is showing us our fundamental similarities, our interconnectedness. This experience of relating with each other on a fundamental human level through the use of, a, of social networking platforms and participating in the spread of viral internet memes is building and solidifying the neurological structure in our brains required to process this experience of fundamental interconnectedness. The biological expression that we are unlocking for the generations to follow us through the development of this neurological potential is an evolution in our brain structure paired with an evolution in our social relationships. The internet has become much more than just a technological sharing platform through which we communicate information. It has become a tool to evolve our neurology towards more coherent social relationships on a global scale. This guides us towards efficiently relating with each other on the foundation of similarity rather than separateness. Beyond the digital storage of information and a technological platform for social interaction, our participation with the internet is also teaching us how to thrive with each other in the non-digital. It is our knowledge, wisdom, critical thought, emotional experience, and ability to share those traits, to share our stories with each other that has helped push mankind's evolution. The internet has become the next step in that evolution by granting us a more inclusive and efficient means to share those evolutionarily beneficial traits, to better share with each other our stories of growth and wisdom. This is where the action comes in. We learn on the internet and share what we have learned with each other through our interaction. In this way, the internet has transcended the digital realms and now extends through us into the non-digital world. Through a symbiotic relationship with the technological mycelium, we have begun to spread the information and evolve social interaction we have learned through the internet, internet into the non-digital world of our human relationships. This helps to expand a sense of coherency with each other on multiple levels of our being, physically, psychologically, spiritually, and socially, by helping us to teach each other different ways to thrive in our own environments. As we continue to evolve towards a global expression of social coherency through the use of social networking and efficient transnational communication, we are still deepening our abilities to connect with each other through new technological innovation. With the development of 4G wireless, wireless worldwide connection, technological access points that fits into our pockets, and social media software, we are strengthening our connection with each other by strengthening our connection with the internet and the more we put into the internet, the larger and more connected we and it becomes. We are collectively building and organizing the culminated expression of all the wisdom and knowledge mankind has earned throughout all ages and places. As the cream of that data crop rises to the top of our newsfeed, we are being granted the opportunity to be more, to be more honest, more open, more confident, more educated, to be more connected, and the more we continue to feed the internet with the expression of ourselves as alive and aware, wise beings, we continue to push each other towards greater heights of our own awareness, our awareness of ourselves and the potential of our relationships to each other. Advances in technology allow us to connect to the culminating expression of mankind, our global network of information, and our participation in this project is pushing us towards self-realization. By exposing us to connections between eclectic breakthroughs in human understanding, life, the universe, and everything, it is pushing us towards a crescendo of awakening to our truly vast existence and infinite potential. 
This crescendo, sometimes called the singularity, will push a jump to the next evolutionary stage of life in our story of the universe, and each one of us has the potential to play as big or as small a role as we choose. I believe this living system we call the internet is dissolving the cultural indoctrination of our history and awakening the neurological potential of a global egalitarian society that lives in harmony with each other and the planet, whose cultures are secular but universally founded on the cultivation of each individual's potential to create inspiration in another. Many of you, like myself, are aware that the internet is not necessarily being utilized to share this caliber of information, and often we see completely useless information being distributed. Yet, the manner of internet use I am discussing here is possible and emerging. Its misuse at this time does not circumvent the potential it holds for us as a species. The internet changes when we choose to change how we use it. It evolves in its function as we evolve in our reasons for using it. It only takes a few of us to begin to understand how to thrive symbiotically with this system and change the way we use it for it to change accordingly and open avenues for others to thrive in symbiosis with it and with us as well. The internet could be the means by which we will save ourselves from the flounder of our forefathers and lay a new foundation for a human civilization that will thrive in harmony with the cosmos for millennium to come, but it is important that we choose to utilize it in this way if we want to see this potential unfold. When we truly understand this, it becomes vital that we protect the integrity of the system from the threats it now faces from the corporate interest that is running our governments, as our very survival may depend on it. Thanks. Mm. Um, so, I said that I don't have a job, right? Well, one of the ways that I make money is I print these and I offer them up. So if anybody would like to donate and get a copy of this, it just got printed today. Um, please come see me after the speakers are finished so that we can respect Paula who's up next. Thanks.